former NBA All-Star from Monroe County passed away earlier this week, and now those who knew him are petitioning for John Drew to be inducted into the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame. As WKRG News 5's Blake Brown explains, Drew's time in the NBA was overshadowed by drug addiction, but his former high school teammates believe enough time has now passed to honor what he did on the court. Yet yeah, John Drew passed away Sunday in Houston, Texas, but his friends back here in Alabama are making sure his legacy lives on. I was always in his shadow regardless of the situation, but I didn't mind being there. It's the high school where former NBA All-Star player John Drew got his start on the court. Longtime friend and teammate Jerome Sanders knew Drew well. He would have stand out. Always trying to carry the ball down on a layup and go through his leg and around here and lay it up. And I said, man, why are you probably you tell him why are you practice this stuff, man? But that's what he do, you know. He just he was phenomenal. The two played basketball together in Monroe County at JF Shields High School, where Drew graduated in 1972. It's where Sanders now coaches basketball. After high school, Drew went on to play in the NBA for the Atlanta Hawks and the Utah Jazz, but a drug addiction would ultimately force him out of the league. You pay for your mistakes, you know. I mean, we all make them. I made a few of them. Now, even after his death, Coach Sanders and other friends are pushing to have his name in the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame. An online petition is circulating to make that happen. I just want to let them know that here at Shields and in South Alabama, he'll never be forgotten. But, you know, I'd just like to see him get the last reward that he probably could get, and that is to be in the Sports Hall of Fame. So far, the petition has nearly 300 signatures. Drew was the first player banned under the NBA's substance abuse policy, and even though that seemed to ultimately dim the light on his career, those who knew him best hope the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame takes into consideration his achievements on and off the court. In Monroe County, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.